It's that weekend in the USA, the Super Bowl. To be honest, I've kind of tuned out of football for a while. I love this photo of my son Ian, who was born that same morning, wearing a Bears onesie and sitting with me during the opening kickoff of Super Bowl 41. Devin Hester ran that kickoff back for a touchdown. And while this boy, who just turned 16 years old, has given me plenty of reasons to smile over the intervening years, the Bears really haven't. But the Super Bowl is a spectacle. Half high-stakes drama, half rock concert, with plenty of snacks. And the game is kind of an afterthought. Those snacks, though. Super Bowl food may be largely lowbrow, but it is delicious and plentiful. One of the ways creative foodie types celebrate the game is to recreate foods native to the two teams' home cities. This year, we have the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And while each of these cities has its own local food culture with various dishes that are unique to that area, each also has one signature dish that defines that city. For instance, Kansas City has its own style of strip steak, cheese pastries, and Italian skewered meat dish called spadini that's related to but distinct from the speedy sandwiches of upstate New York. But KC is best known for barbecue, And the particular barbecue item that this city excels in is burnt ends. Chunks of a brisket's fatty point cut, also called the deckel, that once cooked are rubbed with a spice mixture and smoked again, glazed with a sweet molasses-y barbecue sauce. They're smoky and salty, spicy and sweet, fatty and crisp and lush. My friend Titus calls Philadelphia Sandwich City, USA, and it's not hard to see why. From hot dogs to hoagies, from their delicious roast pork sandwiches with garlicky broccoli rabe and sharp imported provolone, to the lesser-known steak and salami sandwich called a Schmitter, Philadelphia has no shortage of tasty game day snacks. But of course, the most well-known of these is the cheese steak. Thinly sliced ribeye and gooey cheese with the optional additions of cooked onions and a kind of mild chili pepper called long hots are served hot in the excellent local hoagie rolls. So you can certainly serve some burnt ends at your Super Bowl party if you're supporting the Chiefs. And you can whip up some cheesesteaks if you're an Eagles booster. But if you are instead choosing simply to participate in a cultural event, to celebrate an excuse to eat something delicious in a culture largely devoid of things to celebrate, then maybe, like me, you will combine the two. The Burnt Ends Cheesesteak. This is how you do the Super Bowl.